You see these freshly stripped wires on this ribbon cable? See how they're not well twisted up? And they're so close together that if you try to twist one, you kind of mess all of them up. I'm going to show you how to build this really simple tool here that lets you twist them up. All you have to do is put it over there, turn it around, and it comes out skinny enough and well twisted enough that you can put it through holes on a board. Just like this. The twisted wires fit right in and it's easy to solder them on the other side. But the side that hasn't been cleaned up yet doesn't fit through as well. So let's apply our new tool. It has a cone shaped inside that you wrap around the whole thing almost like a wire nut and then you twist and it comes out like that. Let's do another one. There you go. Now let's try to put it through a board. As you can see, it goes right in. Now I'll show you how to build this tool. All you need is a simple hand drill or a drill press. One really fine bit. I use the, point oh, the 0 0.6 millimeter bit in this set. And then one countersink bit like this to make the cone. If you don't have a countersink bit, you could probably just use a larger drill bit. And speaking of size, in my first few prototypes of this tool, I tried to use my 1 16th inch drill bit, but it was too big and, and didn't make a tight enough fit to actually twist the wires. So I recommend the 0.6 millimeter. Oh, and I almost forgot the most fun part. You need one shish kebab stick. Okay, so the first step is you cut off your shish kebab stick to about three to five inches, whatever is a comfortable size. Now, note that the end you cut is just kind of rough. Compare it to the factory edge. The factory edge is a lot cleaner cut, so that's the end we're going to make our tool. So load up your drill with the narrowest drill bit you can find. For this section, I highly recommend using a vise to hold it still, because you're going to drill into that edge. So I drilled down about as far as I could go with this bit, which looks like around, I don't know, three-eighths of an inch. And now let's try and make a cone in the end. Okay, note that I found you want to find a really round skewer. A bunch of them that came in my package were really sort of uh, shaped funny, and those ended up giving me problems. Now let's try it out. Okay, so these are some freshly stripped wires that aren't too clean and definitely don't look like they would go through the board. But if we lead it into the, lead it into the cone and twist it up, it cleans right up. So anyway, I hope this helps you twist up and clean up any wires that you may, using, you may be using for board-to-board -board connections. Um, and if you like this, subscribe to my channel. I have a couple of lab benches here, and mostly I build some instruments here. These are some of my prototypes in progress. And this is the ridiculous ribbon cable that I'm replacing uh, with these new ribbon cables and the whole reason I had to uh, invent this tool and Here's my circuit boards now that I've replaced those with these ribbon cables. So like and subscribe. Thanks